I challenge Raynad to a sealed draft. We open 60 packs and make three decks only from the cards we opened. All right, so we're playing sealed today. New format to farm Raren in. Okay, I mean, we're getting some pretty bad options here, but overall, it's not the worst. Murloc Tidehunter. So overall, we didn't get that many good cards, if I'm being honest. Okay. Oh, let's see what we can make here. Oh, some of these are so garbage. One of them has to be Cthune, because Cthune's just on his own, just a win condition. Shifter Zerus, dude. That's yeah, OP. I ended up with some okay stuff. I think my Priest deck is the weakest. I hope it's not Conquest, because I'm actually kind of worried about getting a win with this one. But the other two feel strong, like uh, Hunter's just a pile of beasts and two Ram Wranglers, which if you have a beast, kind of snowballs, two Kodo. Just a really good curve, all proactive cards. And I'm not worried about the Hunter. I think it's probably the strongest deck, that or Rogue. Rogue doesn't really have removal, but it's just got like good dudes. So I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping Unearthed Raptor can kind of carry us with, with Haunted Creeper and all that. So yeah, let's give it a go, see how it does. Okay, so these are my three decks. So this is my weird Paladin deck. Um, this is my weird Hunter deck. I don't know. It, this one's a little bit more aggressive. And then this is like my control deck. I, I'm basically only worried for the Paladin deck, but I think overall we should be okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start off strong. I'm gonna go for the Priest deck first because I feel like the Priest deck is good. Let's try this. Do we start with the worst deck or the best one? I don't know. Let's start strong. This is gonna be so, I'm actually really excited. I've never done a sealed format before. Uh-oh, it's not a good matchup for Hunter though. I would assume that his Hunter deck is pretty aggressive. I think I'm gonna keep that card. I do have two of them in the deck though, so that's pretty great. This is a four drop. I, I'm actually gonna keep Flare because I don't have other one drops. So maybe this is okay. I'll keep the four seconds. I can't imagine, like the benefit of a sealed format is that it shouldn't be as consistent, which means like their general win conditions shouldn't be there. Well, you know, I put a lot of critters in this deck. I thought it had like 10 two drops or something. We full mold and then get one. Hmm. Oh, oh fuck, that's brutal. Okay. I guess I could thought seal. I got a, I got a good idea of how strong his cards actually are. Ooh. Might get oozed, but don't really have a choice but to play bow. Ooh, damn, he got some good cards. He got Eagle Horn Bow too. Mm, double four. All right, I guess we'll do this. Get a head on board. If he ends up killing this, we can just resurrect it. I guess I do this. On the hunt. Wow, and a kill command. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna resurrect. He just used the kill command for that. I feel pretty great. We could just Cobra shot it, or we could uh, welcome Rare into Ram Ranch. I, f I feel like I like the Cobra shot more because I just don't want him buffing that thing. We do have the inner fire in the deck, so at some point it might actually be really useful. I guess we'll start with this. Ooh, that would have been really good, but it's okay. Oh no, no. Well, I guess we could clear the board with Kodo Arcane shot. Is that better than playing Infested Wolf and just ignoring his stuff? Arcane shot. Hmm. Whenever a character gets healed, that's really good just into this. It looks like we're outvaluing. Okay, hey, a beast. It's not exactly what I would call on time. Oof. This explosive shot's pretty great though. Into the coda. Oh, posi positioning, Raynad. Positioning, good sir. Oh, my positioning. <laughs> Punished. Oh, thank you, Explosive Shot, for reminding me that you're in my deck right on time. I could go like Psychotron into Valen's Chosen and see if, if I can bait some kind of removal. But honestly, this is kind of just good on its own. The beasts obey me. Interesting. So you can't summon, like the, the random cards are obviously all over because it's wild. <laughs> Don't play. Oh, damn. Kind of makes me a little sad, but it's okay. Could also just play this and then heal, I guess. Even though we don't have a Cthune. Pretty great. Oh, they're tra he's trading. Oh. Okay. I mean, we can play Nazdorvu. 
Uh, ooh. He's playing a card that's objectively worse than War Golem, and I can't punish him. This is crazy. Ah, uh, sucks to suck, I guess. Hey, that's like King Crush, except it's a 2-4. It looks like he doesn't have removal, so maybe I just go for it. I think, I think I'm just gonna go for it here. At least it'll be over fast because of Nas Dormu. What? What is he playing? Oh my God. <laughs> now, if he actually can answer this, I lose almost 100% of the time. Well, if I played around explosive shot, maybe this was winnable. All right. Woo, let's go the free stack. <laughs> actually, his next deck is not gonna be slow, so I should keep priest. Okay, we'll go to the hunter deck. The hunter deck is a little bit more aggressive. Priest is my worst deck. It's very likely I go down 0-2 if I do that. That would be embarrassing. This is a YouTube video. Hmm, now we're here to win. His hunter deck didn't seem super aggressive. Oh. It's the reverse. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I think I think that's what we want against Hunter. If he plays an X1, we juggle. Skill-based Hearthstone card design. Flame Juggler versus Fiery Bat. Uh... <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh yeah. Strategy game esports. Digital tavern s left. Fucking athletics. I fucking hate playing juggler. I mean, he would have won the game, like almost guaranteed right there. He hit it, right? Oh, he's facing it. Oh, snap. I guess, I guess if I trade, I lose the juggler and miss two damage. But if I let him trade, I lose the shadow boxer. This is salt ready, waiting to happen, dude. This is just salt. If it hits this, it's so unfortunate. It arguably is better for him to go face, but... Ooh, yeah. Like, this card is, like, too good in this format, so you have to play it, because when it hits, you win the game. But it only hits half the time. I guess I have to do this. Uh, I think I'm just gonna play this guy and go face, and then I might shadow box heal next turn, because we have a good juggle target if it goes through. Elec. Remember Wolf Rider and just go face? Like double face? Could just shatter something clear can also go face, because then I develop something past it. I don't think I'm gonna win the game if I start trading, right? Like I have to kinda go face here. I will go for it, because it's just right. Oh no! Oh he missed, he missed. Oh for two? Oh for two on juggles! This is just this is just really fucking on brand, isn't it, today? This is just, this is exactly what I want in a pride-based YouTube video that'll forever be on the internet. Is missing seven fucking juggles in a row and losing a match because of it. That's a huge deal, actually. That 50-50 mattered so much. This is what we needed today. <sighs> all right, all right. At least, at least Light Warden didn't lose the joust. I can't leave that up. I guess I trade. I don't know if that was correct. Honestly, like the trading there is probably pretty bad. That's a good draw. I mean, yeah, I think I think we gotta play it right. We gotta flip the board back. So no, we can kill it. That oh oh, that might just be game. Oof. We can't beat high main, but we can beat like anything else, and it's a rare and it's sealed. Ooh, no high main. Okay, I'm feeling good about this then. Um. Yeah, let's just go Hooded Acolyte heal. No need to buff the guy yet. Oh my god, we're so <laughs> The priest. Ooh. Is that good? Dude, I can't believe I got Naz Dormood. Oh, how brutal. How embarrassing. All right, Buzzard, Unleash, Ram Wrangler. So I get a 2 4 vanilla, and he gets Hadronox. Okay. It's usual, the usual. I think I just want to play the bigger guy because he's bigger instead of waiting to get value. That's a 5-5. Five, five. Three damage does matter. If I can actually get the Explorer's head on this, that's a 4-8 that it's pretty rough to deal with, I think. But again, I, I don't think I have enough I want to heal, but I also just want to get board presence down, so I'm just going to play some guys. 
Yeah, he's gonna have damage, man. Oof. Oh god, that's so gross. I'm gonna go face. I don't win this game if I trade. I have to go face. He, it's, it's gonna go to like a stalemate. Uh, clearly, he has, he has card advantage. Oh my. Well, that's a card. Oh. Oh god, it's gross. Maybe actually though. This can't go face. All right. I pray for no unleash, no shenanigans, no burn. All right. Maybe we get. Maybe we get lucky. Oh, okay. He's he's hellbent. No more uh, stuff. Um, this must attack creatures. So let's just do this. Uh, it's not lethal, is it? Oh, it is lethal. I'm, I can't math. Damn it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> not bad. Okay, we're on the board. Hey, we got a win with priest. That's awesome. I was actually really worried about priest. Oh, the priest, bro. <laughs> It looks like we both have a good hunter deck, and then we just happen to like um, get it countered by priest. Which is, okay. I was really worried about that deck. I, I, I'm really confident in these other two. I think we just got a bad hunter draw, and he got lucky with the explosive shot. Okay, so it's the hunter again. We do have forbidding healing in this deck, so it's not the worst. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna keep these cards. Ooh, uh, he's an aggressive deck. We can play this. It's a great hand, actually. Uh, it's a fortune that's got a hero power on two, but I'm just gonna play the two one here just because it's a minion to do something. River Croc. All right. Um, I had to make some trades. We have a sick herb, dude. Ooh, he's gonna melee that. You should really attack Crocolisk. If he goes face, it's fine. I mean, I'm going to do this preemptively in case he has like some kind of buff because maybe he doesn't trade into one of my dudes. I'm supposed to go like bow, attack, face, pass. Oh, he's going face, okay. So I took a, maybe, I potentially took an extra two damage there for absolutely no reason. I'm going to put, the onus is on him to trade into my shit now. I, I need to punish uh, holy light hitting stuff. Like if he goes face here, that means he, we know what his game plan is. Okay. Forbidden healing. Hmm. I want to do this. I have a five next turn. I don't really need to spend mana. I think I'm okay just doing this. He might have unleashed the hounds, but I think just keeping consistent damage against an aggressive deck is actually like really good. So we'll just, you know. Is, is that good here? I can't tell. Oh, that's disgusting. That's apps. That's uh, it's uh, it's an app. That's all of his creatures went away. I feel like it was good. That was gross, right? That was disgusting, good sir. <laughs> that was not okay. Um, I hope he's sitting on quartermaster now. <laughs> the problem is, if I play this, I guess I have to. I'm behind though. Wow, that was so brutal, dude. We're in dread scale, doing God's work. Hit fighter. Dude, come on, dude. All right, it's fine. We have, I don't even know. All right, now let's see who gets Hadronox. Ooh, or do we just kill Pit Fighter and keep the pressure up? That's really tempting. This is a really bad minion to play against. Oh no, oh no. Mm. Okay, it could be worse. He took five, I guess. We have this. It doesn't make me feel good at all, but wow, that was so, we're gonna do this. That's not bad. It's a good answer for my guy, but we can go wolf, hero power. The hero powers matter a lot now. Hunter hero power, the reason it's so busted, besides, you know, the obvious stuff of killing your opponent, is that it actually scales. Like when you use it late game, I'm, I'm doing, you know, one eighth of his life total now. In early game, it's only one fifteenth. I guess I could do this. Doesn't really do anything. Okay, we got some tempo back. We'll see how much damage I actually take here. But most of the time, I don't think, I, like maybe I got lucky. Cause if I could play this without dying, that'd be great. Let's just see what this guy gives us, I feel like. I mean, I, I could curator, or I, I think I like Ram Wrangler. It's more 
board. Oh god. He's never seen that card either. The Oasis Thrasher, dude. Ah. Deal three damage to the enemy hero and it's frenzied. Okay. Crazy card. That's actually not great for me though, because if he can proc it, mm. nah, we'll, we'll see. Could be worse. If he hero powers here, it's a little scary. I'm just gonna hero power because I think there's a good chance I corrupted Seer and I don't want to kill the front half of Granny. I wonder if I ever freeze this. I freeze this minion. I played this minion to buff this after. No, I buff this to kill this. I hero power this. This seems fine. Force thing max seems a little too slow. So nine health is a lot of health. That's 18 life or nine mana is 18 life. Oh, dude, I'm still. Oh, that dread skill was absolutely insane. If I'm being honest, absolutely crazy. I've got a lot of options. Um, I, I really, really want to weave a hero power in. That feels important to me. Corrupted Seer gets three damage in, which is like one of the reasons I really want to do it. <laughs> um, maybe I just do that then. So yeah, like then the next turn I can do either these three hero power or this guy hero power. This is just the only way my turns are gonna sequence well. Oh, what the hell? Raynad! This guy, dude. Oh my god, that's so mean. Now, I'm kind of assuming he doesn't have healing, which Paladin has a lot of cards that heal, incidentally, but like, I don't know how many of them you put into your sealed deck, you know? Like, a lot of the healing cards aren't that good for board control. Um, but yeah, unless he like, randomly heals a bunch of life, I think we'll be able to just burn him out with this line. Um, Uh, oh yeah, they don't have healing. Yeah, fucking gain 20. Your turn. <laughs> um, okay, I can play three dudes hero power or I could just curate. The advantage of curatoring now is I draw two cards guaranteed. Later on, I might not be able to. The advantage of playing these is that I get to keep my 2-1. I don't have to trade it off. I can just uh, shoot his guy with Disciple. That dread skill is so gross. I'm still, I'm tilted. I mean, I could probably fade the expensive cards for one turn, right? Right? Keep Flare around. There's a chance he has a Paladin secret in there. So I actually think that this, these two are better than this because if he doesn't actually end up killing this, that means I draw Cthune. The start at your turn, put a 10 cost minion from your deck into your hand. Huh. Not bad. Not the worst plan I've ever thought of. I could be dead here. I have no more healing. Well, Kodo's not gonna do anything for us. I could Curator before I draw, but if I draw first, I might draw something I wanna do instead of Curator. I'm gonna flare first. If I get one less curator draw because of this, then so be it. Oh, he's trading. Whatever, draw your 10 cost card. I don't give a fuck. Yo, curator's so good. Okay. I mean, we get Cthune though. Oh, we drew it anyway, it's okay. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> oh, you do have Cthune. Wait, did I like see him showing up when his guys were getting buffed? I even drew Cthulhu too, and it just didn't do anything. I guess it wasn't the worst Cthulhu in the world, but it did four damage to his face, which is absolutely nonsense if I'm being real, because if it did four more damage to the board instead, he would have nothing on the board. I would have an eight, eight and a four, six, but it's okay, dude. No worries, man. Unlucky. I'm going to do this because it's more damage than any other play. Wow. Imagine if my Cthulhu killed anything. Wow, he traded. I think one of the easiest ways I get cheesed is he just like kills me on the counter attack. So instead of going all face here, I'm gonna go for the more slow play. So I play a half, right? Green six. Oh, we did it, boys. Oh, wow. Okay. That, he's playing some really wild decks. Like, he's got um, these crazy legendaries he's, like, building around. All right, we'll try the Paladin deck again. Oh, my God, bro. The Cthune sucked. Okay, so I got unlucky with the, the, Harb the Harbinger, dude, because it didn't actually draw my Cthune. I just drew Cthune naturally, which is really important. But then it didn't kill the board. And I drew freaking Tiny Fin, dude. All right, one more to go. We gotta get a win with the rogue deck. I thought my rogue deck was okay, um, but it definitely has weaknesses. Like the card quality is good, but it doesn't have removal like at all, basically. There's like a sap or something, um, but it has a bunch of good dudes, a bunch of death rattles. 
um, Raptor, that kind of stuff. I think against Paladin, it should be a really good matchup because my hero power crushes his hero power. Hoghammer is great, so we'll hope that we get an early game minion. Oh my god, I'm still tilted about that dress. Ah! Hey, Dread Corsair is not the worst thing in the world. So we're basically going to hero power and hope. If he doesn't have a one drop, we blow him out this game with Defias Ringleader. If he does have a one drop, it's less exciting. Super slow start, unfortunately, but I guess I'd rather see what the rogue deck is. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have to win with both anyways. Oh, I haven't done this in so long. The punish. Man, this used to be a 2-3. Okay, he's playing a card. That's not good. Oh, God, it's already it's already looking bad. Do we just hit the juggle because we're nuts? Or do I hero power because I want the hero power? Nothing to do on turn one and two. Maybe my deck was too high of a curve. Maybe I was going for too much value. Yeah, that's probably what happened. I should have thought more like an arena player, but it's not over yet. I'm, I'm, I'm acting like the game's already over. I'm gonna have to play the car. Two flame junkies. I want to do this because it attacks for more. Oh wow, Cog Hammer. Yeah, it's looking it's looking like an L. Actually, this isn't the worst thing in the world, so it's okay. I, unfortunately, I don't get the taunt and the divine shield because that actually be really important. But uh, ooh, unearthed raptor. So we can just. I mean, I can go journey hero power, but I, I think it's right to just play harvest golem, just curving out with big men. Eventually, we'll get to this. Harvest golem is super good, though. I mean, okay. So the bright side about this, at least, is this kills something. If I can get like a two drop here. <laughs> Drawing so bad. All right, we're dead. <laughs> we do have this, which is actually really good, like a huge tempo swing, right? Still have the weapon. It's looking bad, but we can pull this around. I don't know why I put two of these in my deck, though. Maybe I was thinking, like, oh, I could win just through, like, late game. Seems right. Could be worse. The Stampede Nikoto deals with this. Next time we go for the Murloc Knight. No. Sure. So hopefully this actually wins me the game. All right, well, we definitely hero power this. And the question is, do we Raptor the Yeti or do we just play Harvest Golem? I think I'm gonna Raptor the Yeti, even though I could get a better Death Rattle off Journey because the Yeti, uh, because the Raptor doesn't die to uh, Kodo. Oh my God, I drew like all my high end. Taunt. It's actually incredibly relevant. Freezing a minion is actually insane too. Okay. Maybe we got there. It's going to look very unlikely. It, it depends on how much aggression he has in his deck. But like, this is actually really, really good. Same as the coolant. The coolant's insane. So next turn we go this and a hero power. Yeah, I could whirling blade, but there's not really a reason to. Like I, I could, I could, I could take out Murloc Knight, keeping Kodo alive in the process. Maybe that is worth. <sighs> Maybe that is worth. Fuck. What is this? Metamorphin. Huh. The question is, does he, tr oh, he's trading into the Murloc, dude, the trading into the Murloc Knight, actually ginormous. Don't have a way to kill the 3-1, please? Okay, huge, 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 huge. Actually, oh my God, that's so big too. Lush Water Scout, after you summon a Murloc, give it plus one attack and rush. That's a pretty good one with Murloc Knight. That's, uh, it's pretty great. <laughs> If he can't, like, it's kind of, like, really, really good if he can't answer this, right? I mean, if I play Bomb Lobber, maybe that is just the play. Because then, it, even if it kills this, at least his stuff's not getting Rush. <gasps> <laughs> Alright. I might have misordered that. No big deal. It's going to come down to a little loop. Order, by the way, Mr. Rita. I was just so convinced we're hitting the one three. I'm like, fuck it, let's run it first. All right, nobody saw that. It's a good thing this isn't being recorded. I don't think I want to play this. The question is, do I want to play this? Like, there's a chance that I die here, right? Like, can I swap tempo? I guess we try it, right? Inspire, gain two two. Strong card. Okay. What is this? Poisonous. Okay. Most of my Murlocs were pretty garbage, but if I had the 6-6 six, six on board is actually like really, really good. Oh, he's trading. Guess he's just gonna take the three damage. Oh. I'm feeling like this is what we wanna be doing. <laughs> it's literally just like <laughs> Arena at this point. 
Okay, the question is, do I think I'm gonna die? This is a lot of life I can just gain. If I can get all the one ones off the board, the Psychotron is just gonna be so crazy against them. Paladin is so bad at doing like incidental damage. It really wants like a ping. So random cards like Elven Archer can actually be pretty good in Paladin and Shaman. Gained 14, put myself up to 24. This grows another turn, which is pretty strong. Also Selman a 1-1, one, one, which is great. But also take a different strategy here and just say I'm not dead, but it's a little scary, right? I think I definitely wanna do this though. I think he has one more spare part in his hand. So he has three other cards. He he has to be able to deal with this 8-8 at some point. Or I guess it's gonna be a 10-10 next turn, right? So I can go hit, 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 Psychotron, Yeti. I'm just praying he has no quality clear. He's got so many cards in hand. I think stats are better than just plus two, plus two. I mean, that's a lot of damage, right? That's 11, 13. I'm not dead, but it's looking pretty bad. Also, I have to hope I just draw Cthune again. Oh my god, it doesn't really matter, dude. It's so bad. Yeah, I drew all my high end in the early game. It definitely wasn't bad. Murlocs were not great either. Listen, I'm coping out of my mind here. So we're gonna we gotta relax. Well, either way, I'm playing this. Let's play it first. Oh god. Oh god, what does this mean? It's a lot of good death rattle cards in the game. Uh if I take Albatross, I can play it this turn. Same thing with Rascal. Oh, they're trading. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna try this. It's possible I shouldn't have put the damage on Psychotron because now damage-based removal gets through it. I think I want to do this for sure. The question is like, how do I actually manage this? This is not great for anyone. I have to kill this, I guess, but this is also just as scary. So I guess we'll start with this. Oof. This is what I mean about wanting Elven Archer. Imagine he had Elven Archer here, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, oh wow, okay, that's neat. 5, 10, 60. Oh, we got it done, boys. Nail Biter. I was so salty after that first game. I'm like, man, I'm gonna lose to Raren in one of these and I can't handle it emotionally. I'm not ready, I'm not strong enough. Today is not that day. Today, we're champions in a format that 10 people have played in history. Oh! <sighs> Unfortunately, man. I, I think I just, like, I, I drew all my high end. I drew all my high end there. Like, that was brutal. Ah, uh, that Dread is gonna haunt me forever. Hey, it is what it is, man. GG's to Rain Ed. Fun times. Always a good time with Rain Ed. That's cool that, um, I, I never thought I'd use that sealed tool again. Um, we built it on, on, TempoStorm.com like years ago. We did some Red Bull events with it, but I don't know. I'm uh, happy to use it again. All right, boys. It has been fun. Thank you for the games, Raren. Remember to check out the Bazaar when it comes out sometime this decade. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Next time. Yeah, the Dread Scale. Oh, that was brutal.